Well, first of all, let me tell you, Navika, this case is one of the most dastardly, diabolic, semi-barbaric, brutal and inhuman case, I think, in the history of independent India, if you compare it with some other cases, which has completely shocked the collective conscience of the society. As far as this case is concerned, normally in criminal cases, there is no direct evidence in case of murder case. Therefore, you have to look for circumstantial evidence. Now, all this narco analysis test, taking him to that jungle, etc., are corroborative piece of evidences. You have to look into the primary piece of evidences first. I think the police officers from the very beginning should have looked into four angles of the investigation. Number one, they should have looked into the last scene theory, which was being suggested by senior advocate Mr. Luthra. The extrajudicial confession part, the leading to discovery part, and the protection of the crime scene. Quickly, I would like to sum it up. Last seen theory means the time gap between the point of time when the deceased and the accused were last seen together. Some people might have seen them. The police officer still now has not interrogated them. So when Shraddha was last seen with Aftab, two, three people might have seen them. That is a very crucial piece of evidence. Number two, extrajudicial confession. Aftab, after the commission of the crime, might have met several people. And there is a chance that he might have confessed about the commission of the crime to somebody. Those people also need to be interrogated if at all he has confessed. Third and the most crucial part is that when you are leading to discovery part that which is hit under section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act, statement before police has no evidentiary value. Statement before police officer in custody also doesn't have any evidentiary value. Therefore, police officer should investigate in such a manner that they should lead and recover that weapon of offense, not the dead body. Dead body is, is a part that is acceptable. You have to find out the weapon of the offense, then it is hit under section 27 and is admissible as a piece of evidence. Therefore, I believe that these angles need to be investigated first. Then otherwise what will happen, your Navika, you know in this country, normally 50-60 witnesses will come into play. Half of them will be broken in cross-examination, they will turn hostile, trial will continue for 20 years and all will be acquitted. This is a case where high standards from the Delhi police is expected. And as Mr. Luthra said, these are early stage. These angles need to be investigated. Well, and it should.